Tonight, investigators could be one step closer to solving a cold case that has haunted a New York neighborhood for years. It comes after a convicted serial killer sent a chilling email to a forensic historian. This is a message he sent from behind bars while serving a life sentence for other crimes. Correspondent Mary Murphy has the story tonight. Marnie, serial killers are allowed to send emails, and it looks like Richard Cottingham, now 75, is confessing to another murder. He sent the email to forensic historian Peter Vronsky and says he killed a teen near a New York mall. Lisa Thomas in 1974, she was murdered near the Manuel Mall. Peter Vronsky is extensively communicating with a serial killer. So are two women who lost relatives to Richard Cottingham's brutality. They read an email the killer sent in February this year. She was a white girl in her teens. I kind of remember her putting up a good fight. Cottingham, who was a married dad working at Blue Cross Blue Shield Insurance before his 1980 arrest, doesn't remember names, but he's relied on Vronsky's sleuthing to look up a cold case that might match. Malls are often a killing ground for um, Cottingham. The killer confessed last year that he picked up two New Jersey teens on their way to Garden State Plaza, also in 1974, before torturing and drowning them. His DNA was tied in June to the 1968 murder of a young mom at Greenacres Mall in Valley Stream. This week, we introduced you to the two women trying to get Cottingham to confess more crimes. It's believed he could have bludgeoned or strangled a hundred women. I really felt alone growing up knowing my mother was killed. No one else around me had a mother who was killed. For the first time, Weiss released photos that showed Cottingham giving her the details of what he did to her mother and a friend in 1979 in a Times Square hotel. How Richard put my mother's severed head in a police and then buried it. Weiss said she's upset law enforcement isn't giving her credit for pushing Cottingham to make multiple confessions. Sonia Ruiz McGraw, who lost her grandmother to the killer, said she also established a rapport with Cottingham by sending him photos of herself with her Doberman Pinscher. Richard happens to actually really love animals. Um, that may sound funny. I think it definitely helped. The victim's granddaughter said Rockland County investigators promised she could hear Cottingham's confession in person. But a police source asked us, quote, what legitimate law enforcement agency ever allows a victim's family member to sit in on a confession? It's just not done. One way Cottingham did benefit from talking, he received special food packages in prison over the years when he cooperated with investigators. Does it bother you as a daughter of a victim? It does not. Finding out who he killed means more. The serial killer ordered shrimp cocktail and shelled pistachios when he was given the special food packages. But these items were part of a catalog approved by New Jersey's Department of Corrections. Marnie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.